Hello again, everyone. It's me. I'm back. I'm Oryx, and I am going to be speedrunning a completely different game than I just was. Uh, that last game that you saw was what most people would consider an RPG. It was a Pokemon game. Uh, this is what most people would consider a platformer. Uh, this is uh, the letter V6 times, or V6, as we call it in the community. Uh, and it is a very interesting run. It's completely different from Pokemon. It's a ton shorter. It's got some crazy strats in it. That I'm actually good at this game, as opposed to Pokemon. So... Uh, definitely a fun one to watch. Uh, uh, the category that I'm going to be doing is uh, called No TJ, which is short for No Telejumping. Uh, telejumping is a specific glitch that we've banned for this category. There's a lot of glitches in this game, though, so by no means is this a glitchless run. Uh, in any case, I think I'm just about ready to go. Uh, so I will be starting... In three, two, one, go. Uh, now, right at the beginning, we have about a 15 to 20 second cutscene. Uh, it's going to play out. And during that cutscene, the glitches start to happen. First of all, we press R to die. Dying skips the entire first level there. Uh, now, this is considered a glitch because pressing R to die in this game uh, is only meant to be used in a uh, player level, but it is not disabled during normal gameplay, so we use it a lot to our advantage. Uh, and in fact, using it to our advantage in a great way is what has recently shaved uh, three and a half minutes off this category. More on that in a second. Uh, in any case, this category basically is what arises when we want to skip large sections of the game, but not the entire game. Uh, we're still going to have to go through most of the levels. We're still going to have to play a lot of the stuff. But we do get to skip a lot as well, such as that first level, which we only enter twice, once during the opening cutscene and once uh, in just a bit. Uh, so... I've talked about how we're not allowed to telejump, but I'm not, I haven't specified what telejumping is. Telejumping is when uh, a method that uh, we use to get out of bounds in this game. Uh, you can use telejumping to really glitch through walls after teleporting. Uh, and we decided that we wanted a category to ban that, but not to ban all glitches. Uh, because telejumping is so powerful, it just cuts the game time literally in half. Uh, that was our first level. Uh, what we're going to be doing is just running around collecting our different crewmates and rescuing them. Uh, this is key because once we've rescued a certain number of crewmates, different uh, events will happen. Uh, and we're going to be trying to skip as many of those events as possible. Uh, so right now we're going to the tower. This is an auto-scroller. It's a very interesting auto-scroller because you can speed it up. There are six checkpoints at which if you die, 
not not there not there that's slow uh, but if you die at certain checkpoints in this level uh, right at the top of the screen it will scroll the screen upwards uh, and that'll scroll up faster than uh, the level normally would it's not considered a glitch uh, to do it normally unless you're pressing the R button to do it like there or Uh, but the actual mechanic of the screen scroll is not considered a glitch. In any case, uh, our main goal is just so far going through the levels and uh, rescuing crewmates, but that's about to change. Uh, in this next, uh, if I were to rescue another crewmate immediately after this and nothing special were to happen, uh, I would enter Intermission 1. Uh, it's called Intermission 1 because there are two intermissions and it's the first one. Uh, we're going to completely skip Intermission 1, though. Uh, and the way we're going to do it is uh, by rescuing our first crewmate and then skipping a cutscene. Uh, so now we're going to complete the first level of the game. Uh, so that right there completes the first level of the game. Uh, that was wrong and also banned. What I was doing there was a telejump. Uh, not allowed to do that because I had my lens set on the wrong category. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do now is go through the lab. Now, what that does is that does set the flag that I have rescued that crewmate. Uh, you would see if I were to open my uh, menu up right now that I have rescued that crewmate, uh, and that has been registered. But it also doesn't take me through the intro cutscene which, among other things, takes, like, 30 seconds, uh, as well as unsetting all of my I, uh, saved crewmates. So it would have made it so that those two that I had saved were not saved. So, in essence, I've skipped, like, four things. Right there, you're not supposed to be able to go through that line, but by use of a frame-perfect input, we can. Uh, now, normally in the old no jumping route, before the latest glitch was found, uh, what you would have done in, is you would have not skipped the first intermission, instead you would have skipped the second intermission, because it was much faster to do the first intermission than the second. However, with the most recently discovered glitch in this game, and there are a lot, uh, it has become multiple minutes faster to uh, not do that and to instead go to the second intermission, or rather the Gravitron. So we're going to see the Gravitron right now. It's my favorite part of the game in general, so I'm very glad that it is in this main category now, again. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip from the top. That's actually going to save a second right at the end as long as I don't die. Uh, the Gravitron is a kind of an auto-scroller in a way. Uh, you have to stay alive for 60 seconds. Uh, thankfully you get a checkpoint every five seconds, but hopefully I will not be needing that. Each five second section is different, or ten seconds, if it's one of the longer sections. 
Uh, for example, the sections from 30 to 20 seconds and 20 to 10 seconds are each 10 seconds long uh, of the same thing, the same kind of pattern. Uh, this pattern from 30 to 20 seconds is the most random of all of the patterns. Uh, there's six different places where the squares can spawn. Uh, whereas that pattern that I just died to is the same every time if I don't die. Uh, but right here, right after the end of the Gravitron, is where the magic will begin. If I can survive the last five seconds, which are the easy part. Uh, so I die there, and I go back into the Gravitron, but now I have a glitchy hitbox. And so I can get out of bounds and do that frame-perfect flip. And that's the last screen of the game that I just peeked into. And now the game is complete. That's time, by the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that was 917. Uh, that run was... <laughs> yeah, you just kind of glitch into the last uh, room of the game, and it's over. Uh, credits can roll from there. I didn't want to show it because it would have likely crashed my game. And I'd rather not crash my game at this point. Because there's still some other stuff that I'd like to show off, seeing as I've gone underestimate in a couple of consecutive runs. Uh, this should be very quick. It should only take about 30 seconds at most. The thing about that glitchy state from your hitbox in the Gravitron is it'll carry on and it won't reset until you either complete the Gravitron or completely restart the game. Uh, so we have, because of that, uh, a newer category called any percent NG plus. The NG plus is because it is not from a fresh save file. It is from starting in this Normally you can't get the credits if you don't start a new save file, uh, or at least start an old save file. But here we're just gonna start by going into intermission 2. And right here we have a glitchy hitbox, you can tell because we're going halfway through that wall. Uh, we're going to try this just a couple times. Uh, and anyways, we just do that same frame perfect flip right there, peek our head into the final room, and now we have completed the game without starting the game. And so, the world record for this category is 20 seconds in game time. Also, you can get really fun, glitchy stuff by dying in the outer space sections. Hilarious. It's my favorite part of this. In any case, uh, that's been the letter V six times. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been great to be able to show all this off. And like show you this is all real like i can just go to the